It's David Wowie from another Eden Adventures and last week Japan dropped some more units for us to spend our savings on when they reach global and I have to admit I'm pretty excited! Don't forget to like and subscribe to help this community grow and of course massive gigantic super duper spoilers ahead. In the version 3.2.20 update we'll have a new adventure waiting for us in Wonder in the Binding Night Edge of the Vortex and from what I understand this is actually the final chapter in the Apocrypha series and speaking of Apocrypha we have a new version of our favorite shovel boy and that is Noxus another style baby he's ditched the wallet chain to take on a more futuristic husbando look which may or may not have something to do with a lot of the flashbacks they've shown us so far. So what kind of unit will Noxus be like? When Noxus accumulates 3 electro forces he unleashes an all out mode which increases his power by 100. He has an attack called Grey Goo that with enough nano machine stacks can reduce the enemy's power, intelligence and speed by up to 40% and also reduce their endurance and spirit by up to 30%. The only downside is that this debuff only lasts for one turn and you need 3 stacks for it to reach its full potential. And when it comes to attacks, Noxus AS delivers the powerful Frugrochem skill that can do ridiculous damage and pierce barriers. So how do you unlock him? Thank goodness Noxus AS is actually free but you will need to clear a quest called Blackbird and face a super boss that awaits you. If you don't have Noxus normal soul yet and don't want to do the painstaking grind to get him, maybe wait until this update comes to our global version because apparently the update will make it easier for you to recruit Noxus normal style instead of having to spend several hours running through the time twisted maze multiple times. On top of this there will be an option to rematch the tougher versions of the super bosses after clearing these subquests involved with getting Noxus another style. Speaking of another style, let's talk about another style Melody! She's making a grand entrance with her unique class name Medea inspired by the sorceress and princess from Greek mythology. With this in mind, Melody Nola Style's gimmick is the ability to turn DEMENTED! At the start of her turn she stacks Desire depending on the number of wind characters on the front line. When she reaches 4 stacks of Desire she undergoes a transformation into the DEMENTED! state restoring 25% HP and 15% MP to all allies. This transformation cancels the current zone and deploys an awakened Wind King stance ready to unleash havoc upon her enemies. And that's not all, Melody AS's normal style skill Dream Charge has received a significant buff. It now restores 30 MP and when an elemental zone is deployed it restores 60 MP. Additionally Melody AS has a devastating skill called Depravity. It's a pain setting skill but not just a standard pain setting skill. As well as inflicting pain it reduces enemy power, intelligence and speed by 25% and provides a barrier to all allies for damage reduction. And when you have 4 wind allies on the front line the debuff effects are doubled and all weapon equipped characters damage receives a staggering 100% boost. She sounds like the perfect teammate for upcoming wolf chick Sesta! But wait, there's more! Melody AS's Dark Screw delivers 3 XL wind type magic attacks to all enemies, reduces wind type resistance by 50%, which increases to 100% if you have 4 wind type characters in the front line, and increases the critical and magical critical rate of all party members by 100%. Not only that, when she's in the demented state, you'll inflict a 1900% increase in damage and your magical critical damage will increase by 50% for 3 turns. Before we talk about the third and final unit announcement, let's talk about the banners. We have the standard Fateful for Melody AS which can be used 3 times and if you're feeling lucky, the Special Wind Fateful guarantees one of 10 chosen characters including Melody AS, Yifa AS, Sesta, Hina AS, Garen Barrel AS, Biaka AS, Soria AS, Cyan Scyther, Tuka AS or Kikyo AS. On top of this, another Eden Japan announced they will be giving everyone 2 green, 2 red and 1 bold plus daily along with a generous 150 daily chronostones for 5 days in a row. We will also be able to filter characters by style, element, light or shadow and gender. 
So this is great. I'd love to see a search function for all items, weapons, and characters because I have too many now, man. We will also be able to play back more character quests. And finally, an update to one of the game's beloved husbandos. We're getting Dunarith Alta! We don't know too much about his skill set yet, but it looks like he's getting a bit musical with a unique version of... Is it the Shamisen? Someone correct me if it's another instrument. That's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more info on a much anticipated new unit coming to global. And that is Wolf Chick!